In this video, we will be looking at something I mentioned in my last video, crypto loans. So today you will learn about crypto loans. Who is it for? How does a lending platform work? Where to borrow? What is collateral? What is the interest rate? Is it worth it? Let's say you want to buy a car. You might have enough money to buy it, however that's a lot of money to give up at once. In this case most people would just get a loan and pay it off little by little. However, let's say the bank rejects your loan application because you have a bad credit score caused by the mistakes you made in the past. So you have the money to buy the car. You can afford to pay off any interest for however long, but you can't get a loan. Another problem could be that the money you have is in crypto and you don't want to sell your crypto. If this sounds like you, crypto loans are a great option since you can get a loan for both crypto or fiat. So where does the money come from? Crypto loans allows users to borrow money from lenders that have staked their money to a lending slash staking platform. Staking allows users to earn money off of their money that the user has lying in their wallet. So if a user wants to earn an interest on his or hers Ethereum, then they can stake it. Staking deposits are either locked or flexible. This means either you can take your money out for a given time or you can whenever you want. Simply put stakers or lenders supply the liquidity to the lending platform so that the borrower can take a loan while they themselves earn money. The best thing about crypto loans is that there is usually no small limit to how much you can borrow. This does of course vary because crypto exchange may have a borrowing option for margin traders. So if you want to buy something, make sure you are borrowing from a lending platform. Understanding collateral is important before taking a loan, so what is collateral? Collateral is how much you must put up before you receive the loan. Crypto loans are over collateralized which means the collateral amount required is higher than your loan. Bank loans on the other hand are under collateralized, which means the required collateral amount is lower than the loan. However, this is what usually leads to debt. If we look at the collateral itself the percentage varies, but the range is between 20%-70% loan to value, so you need at least 120% of the borrowing amount. So if you want to borrow 10,000 you need at least 12,000. Now back to a good thing about crypto loans. The annual percentage rate of crypto loans are competitive to that of personal loans. The interest rate for crypto loans are between 0.7% to 8%. And the term of the loan can be from 7 days to 3 years. Now keep in mind that all of this depends on the platform and coin. Is it worth it? This depends on the person. If you have the money to cover the collateral and interest rate, and you don't want to go through the traditional bank system where you need to wait for your loan to get approved. In this case, yes it will be worth it. Another instance where crypto loans are good is if you aren't approved for a loan because of your credit score, since crypto lending platforms don't require your credit score, you can get a loan there. Another case is where you need money, but you only have crypto, and as I mentioned in the beginning, you don't want to sell your crypto. The great thing about taking a crypto loan is that you can choose which coin you want to use as collateral and your loan can be paid out in any crypto or non-crypto currency the platform supports. To many people using both is a good option because if you need a short-term loan for something, a crypto loan can come in handy because the shortest borrowing length is 7 days. For other bigger purchases such as buying a house, a traditional loan will just do since they are under collateralized. However houses have been bought with borrowed crypto, so if you can afford it, and the interest rate is better than that of the bank, go for it.